a little bit worse for wear, but we have arrived in Budapest. If you've seen the other vlog, you'll know that we were in Zagreb this morning. We just had a five and a half-ish hour, actually maybe more like six hours on a bus. Um, Passport control, like the border, seemed to take ages. Just like we were waiting there for actually about an hour. Um, but to be honest, it went really, really quickly. Um, we got to the bus station, wanted to go to the toilet, and then you had to pay there. So we realised there was a mall um, just across the road. Went to the toilets there, and then we've actually decided to just stop in the food court and have some lunch. So I've got a falafel pitta. Michael's had KFC. And after this, we're just going to get the tram over to where we're staying, sort ourselves out a bit, freshen up, and then we've got something nice planned for this evening. So, we're looking forward to spending our time in Hungary. Um, it looks beautiful so far from what we've seen from the bus. It's quite nice travelling by bus because we got to actually see a lot of the sights, a lot of the um, kind of flowers and crops and little villages along the side of the road. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's been a little while since we. Um, had our lunch or sort of just food at about four o'clock. Um, there was a bit of a palaver about finding the apartment, but it was all good in the end. Um, we kind of got ourselves ready to come out, and now we are walking along the bank of the Danube, and we're going to go on a river cruise this evening, which should be really nice. It's already starting to um, the sun's already starting to set, so it should be really nice when we see all the buildings illuminated in the dark. Um, first, we've got to actually find the dock. time so as you can see now it's pretty dark but um, we just watched all the lights come on over the river and everything is really beautiful and now we're gonna look for somewhere to eat and then we're gonna head back home. Good morning um, we've just checked out of our apartment we are staying in Budapest a bit longer but it's a long story but we're in two different places so we're in a hostel tonight um, so we're on our way there now to drop off our stuff because we're going on a walking tour this morning it starts at 11 and it's like what's the time now? it's half 10 so Cutting it a little bit fine, but I'm sure we'll be absolutely all right because the hostel's just around the corner from the meeting spot anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the walking tour because we saw so many lovely places on the river cruise last night and it'll be interesting to find out a little bit more about them. Um, so we'll see where we end up on the walking tour.
not the same one that we booked onto. So our tour guide that we were meant to have was ill. So he recommended us um, a different tour, which was really good actually. The guy had loads of interesting facts. He had like quizzes, um, kind of like trivia questions. Um, but we didn't get to do everything that was on the original tour that that had been why I'd chosen it. So that's potentially where we're going to spend the next two days going to, just to try and see the other sides. Because we didn't actually go over to the Buddha side. We did lots of stuff on the Pesha side, but we didn't get to see Hero Square. And then on the Buddha side, we didn't get to see Fisherman's Bastion or um, St. Matthias Church. So I think we're going to try and go to those. But speaking of the trivia questions and quizzes that he did, I managed to answer one of the questions correctly. Um, he had like three main questions that he asked, and I was the first one to answer it. So, um, as a reward, I got given this cottage cheese chocolate, which is apparently a delicacy from around when um, the communists were reigning here, but it's now still really popular. It's actually in the McDonald's McFlurries, like they have a partnership with them, which we had McDonald's last night um, to try some of the options, and we didn't actually get a McFlurry, but now I kind of wish I did. But we've got this to try, so we're going to see how it tastes. It's a little bit melted because it was in my bum bag while we were walking. Um, this question that I answered was about halfway along the tour, so it's been in my bag for about an hour, and I think it was chilled in his bag before that, so I'm sure cottage cheese and chocolate shouldn't be kept out of cold temperatures for too long, but I'm going to try it now. It's actually really nice, like surprisingly nice. It's got quite a citrusy flavour, but yeah, I would give that, I think I'd actually give that an 8 out of 10. That's actually surprised me. There were other flavours as well, there was a and coconut. I really don't like coconut and I just thought I want to try the original, but yeah, if you ever come to Budapest then maybe grab yourself one of these because they're actually really nice. Hostel, which is we're just staying here for one night but it is really really nice here um, I would say it's a lot nicer than the one in Zagreb um, it just feels a lot more private because we've got curtains on the beds here um, we're actually in a 10 person room but um, everything just seems cleaner um, we've got key cards for the rooms um, and they also open up like private showers and toilets in the corridor so we share them with everyone in here obviously but um, in Zagreb there was like an open, like there was one room with like two toilet cubicles and a shower in it and so it didn't feel the most private. And also what's nice about this room is the balcony. So we've got little chairs out there. That there is St. Stephen's Basilica. Um, so it's definitely not a bad view for a hostel room, but I'm actually really looking forward to spending the night here. It looks really comfy. Um, so yeah, I think it's raining at the moment. So we went to, we went out the Basilica, we got some souvenirs and stuff and some drinks just cause we realized we hadn't really had anything to drink all day. We were so thirsty. And then I think the plan for this evening is um, maybe to go to a museum. Um, we're going to stick to the Pesh side today and then tomorrow and go to the Buddha side, so try and just do everything in the Pesh side today. Um, but we might just chill here for a bit, get our stuff sorted, because, um, yeah, we hadn't checked in until now, and it's about five o'clock. So, we've still got enough of the day left to do some good stuff, but we'll see what there is available to do, because I've got to check the closing times of the museums and stuff first as well. I had a look at the um, closing time of the museums, and unfortunately we just about missed it, and also they're not open tomorrow, which is our last day here, so looks like we're not going to go to 
um, well, specifically the House of Terror was the one that um, I really wanted to go to, but I feel like we had a lot of history on the tour, and it was enough that I could do my research at home. It would have been so interesting to go to, but it's all right. Um, we've decided for tonight, um, our main activity is um, watching the final of the Women's Euros with the view of St. Stephen's Basilica right in front of us on the balcony, um, just because England are in the final. And then I think tonight we're hopefully going to go to one of the Bruin nightclubs, which is in the Jewish district, the Jewish quarter, where um, old buildings from the ghetto have been decorated by students and by um, other people to make them into now bars and nightclubs and things like that. So we're going to go over and explore that sort of area. Um, and maybe visit Hero Square as well tonight. But we're still going to save the Buddha side for tomorrow, um, just for something to do, because our bus isn't until later in the day. Um, so now I think I'm just going to settle down and watch the final. So, the last time I picked you up we were watching the um, Women's Euros final and obviously if you watched it you know that the Lioness has won, we were very happy about that. Um, the match did go on for longer than we expected because it was a tie at the end of the 90 minutes so it went into extra time. Luckily we scored during that time so it didn't go into penalties which would have been um, deja vu but um, anyway after the match finished we headed out for some dinner we just went to like a kebab place I wasn't that hungry so I had like a salad um, and now we've come to Hero Square um, it was meant to be one of the locations on the tour that we would have gone on if our um, tour guide wasn't ill so I don't know too much about it um, but it looks really really nice um, I'd love to know more about like the names of who's here so I might do a quick google and then see if I can tie that to any of the faces that are around just for some extra information because it's always nice to know what I'm looking at but um, yeah I think after this we're gonna head to a club maybe for a little bit um, and then back to the hostel because we've got to check out in the morning so try and get enough sleep to not be running on zero tomorrow morning final morning in Budapest we've just got chimney cakes because there was a stall near our hostel and we'd be looking at them every time we walk past it so we thought it's a local delicacy we'll get some um, <laughs> and now we're gonna go over to the Buddha side and explore over there Sorry. I've now realised I got a bit confused with what was what, so this is St Matthias Church and this is Fisherman's Bastion. I was thinking the church was the bastion because I didn't think that the bastion would just be the walls but I mean they're beautiful walls and they have lovely views. Um, but yeah, we've worked out what's what, we're booked on to go up the tower of the church at half one so we've got a little bit to wait. But we're just kind of sitting around looking at the views and taking it all in while, um, before we go on our tour. every other Monday and we've just happened to come on the other Monday so it's closed um, so we're going down the steps now they're really really steep but at least there's a nice view and there's enough trees here to give us a good amount of shade so I forgot to close anything off because um, we got ticketed um, we got fined on a tram on the way back so that was a bit stressful but we're now on the bus on the way to Vienna so if you want to see what we're up to in Vienna then catch the next vlog which will be coming very soon but thank you for watching this one I hope you've enjoyed it and that's me saying goodbye.